Hello everyone and welcome to a very quick update of a Planet Zoo and a wonderful exciting one. Today we are going to talk about the update 1.3 which you potentially have seen somewhere else already but for a few hours now there is a post on the forum of a Planet Zoo and this is about the 1.3 update that is coming on August 25. So that is in about a week. Well, actually it's in exactly a week. And there are some cool little things in here we haven't heard about. And oh boy, there is some exciting stuff in. And I think it's very much a big free update um, as we were hoping for. So as you can see here, um, yeah, well, but never ask again. No, don't, don't just do this, okay? So um, we are here and you can see a new picture. This time we do see the alligators or the, actually uh, the crocodiles, the saltwater crocodiles. I can actually tell this time a very, um, very actually noticeable difference. So we have this grayscale over here, we have a bit more saturated here and kind of a mix and match thing here. And what I love is this one on the right hand side, which seems to have just a brownish head. Now, which is really cool, they have not only done the animal variations now with the color uh, scope and whatnot, um, but there's actually some cool stuff. So ex um, for example, you can see now 6% of the jaguar population are now black jaguars, which is pretty cool um, because that is somewhat how it is in real life as well. And well, actually 6% might be a bit too high, but for the sake of the game and market stuff, I think that is, especially for sandbox, a good change. Um, bird and reptile albinism and loicism, I can't even talk, um, are now more likely than before in line with natural results. That's cool. And for example, the Alama color morphs are extremely common. So this is, I think, they had this kind of three tier system which was like subtle mediocre and heavy and i think this is like extremely heavy if you will it's like a, a plus if you will because um you know this is just pretty crazy and uh, follow the same breeding rules as albinos with an additional set of color variations which means basically that um, you know, by just uh, having the opportunity, two different animals uh, coming together with a, a different set of genes, they are more likely to create uh, different color morphs than before. And if you have two of the same color, I assume that they do have the same color at the end of the day. Now, this is really cool. Um, and there's a lot of other stuff in here. You can really go in detail and look what, what you think, but there's some really cool stuff is here in here. Um, and you can really tell that they spent a lot of work doing uh, this um, very on a, on a good way, in a good way, and not only just having different animals in with different colors. So that is really cool. And um, yeah, um, that is really, really cool. And you can actually tell um, by highlighting this one over here, they say, we've absolutely done uh, our absolute best to stick to research photo reference and do them justice. With this in mind, we've tried to avoid coloration that only applies to single individual animals as the contrast of color would begin to look strange in groups, which I think is a very welcome addition because, for example, like, let's say lion. I think there's only one black lion in the world known at the moment, which somehow would be cool to have in-game, but then, you know, to make it so seldom it would be highly frustrating because you never get this and I guess that is the better way of doing it so you only take color variants that are more common so that in a group it looks good. I think that's a very good decision to go. As for the next update they have animal food management which oh my boy I never thought about that I need this but now seeing this I definitely need this. So you can really tackle now your animals um, in, in one overview chart here in the animal you have a new tab which is called food and then I can actually just, just zoom in a bit well the quality doesn't really get any better but never mind. Um, so you can really see these are the groups of animals and then you can see at the moment none of them are hungry which is a big lie because no zoo will ever look like that. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, but no, this is um, very cool and you can see down here and there is the project uh, food cost for the year, how many keepers are assigned and look after it, whether your animals are hungry or not. The total cost, which is also especially for big cats, a good thing. So yeah, just in general, I think it's a very, very good thing. Um, also, um, you'll be able to change the food grades for your animals in this menu. This is such a good thing, honestly. And then we have a new sandbox map, which I thought at the first glance, I think the positioning of this is very unfortunate if you ask me, but you say a new sandbox map, a, a brand new landscape set in a location to be revealed soon. Uh-huh. 
That is pretty interesting, isn't it? Why wouldn't they say this? I have a certain feeling that there's a reason for doing this. But anyways, with new terrain textures, surroundings and sky, which I love, that means we get a whole new biome, which is really cool. Um, but this screenshot over here actually relates to what is written down here. So timed scenarios, which is kind of cool. With this update, we are adding a free timed scenario in Estonia. Make sure you check it out. So that means you have to reach certain amount of stars in a certain time frame given. I want to say finally, because this is one layer of management I was missing in, well, any planet game so far, I guess. Um, so yeah, that is a, a new lovely variation that we needed. Um, I have no idea why it's Estonia though, but I, I, I guess it's nice, whatever. And now Frontier, the next thing, Frontier has done it again. I will now cut in something into the video before I scroll down and I'm just going to say nothing. Now this thing over here, as you can see, this is a custom made vending machine. As you know, we don't have any vending machine in the game. Now this is actually a bit sad, we had them in Planet Coaster and maybe we get them eventually in Planet Zoo, but as of now, no one would actually interact with this thing over here. So Right, let's scroll down to the actual vending machines now. So why exactly was I building this again? Just completely weirdly with this weird technique, yeah? I don't know, maybe because Frontier knows and does whatever, but yeah, they're in. Back from Planet Coaster, they are brought back in. We have the vending machines, they are gorgeous. You can do all kind of stuff with them. I will do, I will do a cool bit of tutorial on that. That will be awesome. And then the next bit of thing is cool stuff management, multi-select. Yes, this is something we, we needed for a time. You know, just multi-select people, assign them to a group, train them all, whatever. This is just, you know, stuff that you need to do. And I think it's a very cool little thing. Talking of cool little things, Scenery light toggle. Holy crap, thank you so much. This was one thing that struck me the most. Why didn't we have that prior? I, I still don't really know. Um, it was always you had to color them completely black instead of just toggling them to be out. Because sometimes, you know, we are creative people. We just use a lamp as something else. I don't know, as kind of a rim for something or as a, I don't know, just as a pillar for a for whatever fence or so and you just don't want this whole thing to be illuminated like crazy which you've seen potentially from from many many different uh, blueprints you got from the um, steam workshop that many people used lamps as kind of uh, details and stuff and they forgot to turn them black and some of the lamps actually could not be turned into black so that was even even more uh, frustrating and then uh, this comes in handy to just deactivate the lamps and then you just don't have any light cast from them and you can just use the piece and yeah talking of this we will get a new set of foliage and uh, I think we can almost assume that it is as last time. That was the same thing with South America. We got this forum post and a few days later we got the confirmation of South America DLC. So I'm expecting the exact same here. Um, just to, to, to be waited what this could be. Um, but it's a completely new continent as it seems. A new biome which I think is fantastic. And this whole update over here looks to be absolutely great. I mean, as far as I can tell for a free update, this is really at least a little bit um, explaining why it took them so much time to come up with new stuff. So there's a whole bunch of really good quality of life improvements. Um, nice addition of the vending machines. I think this gives, especially to the problematic situation with food and drink, um, will address these problems a lot more. So they spend a lot of time investigating some of the biggest issues, especially of franchise mode, which I love. Um, this new layer of, uh, you know, um, of, of scenarios I love. I hope that they can investigate even more into that and make it more challenging and exciting for the for the future. And uh, yeah, just this new tab over here is super handy. I mean, we don't need to talk about the fact that skin variants are the one favorite thing that people ask for the whole time. So yeah, just in general, absolutely fantastic. Um, I, I'd love to clap my hands for you, Frontier. 
but now bring on the DLC. I want to know what it is. I'm excited. Guys, I hope you are too. By the way, um, before we end this, I am live now on Twitch. Uh, this moment where I, uh, this is uploaded, you know, uh, I will be live on the live stream thing, you know. Um, the link is down below in the description. You can just click on it, come over, and we can talk the whole evening about your, um, your ideas for a DLC and also your kind of uh, expectations and also what you think will be happening and how you like the free update stuff. But as of now, that's it. Have a good time and goodbye everyone. Thank you for watching this video. I really do appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed it. And um, yeah, I was really happy to have you here. In case you enjoyed it and you haven't subscribed yet, make sure to consider subscribing. You can do it via this button here. And if you want to see more, uh, there's some cool other stuff linked here for you. This is suggested for you personally. That's pretty cool. And in case you want to support the channel a tiny bit more, you can do it via this wonderful Hype Camel link over here. I really would appreciate it. And also, big thank you already to all the people who do already support the channel. Really do appreciate that. But now, have a wonderful time, guys and I catch you in the next one.